I got a question on my channel as to how to animate objects, not one after another, but for example object number one, then object number 16. I know this is basic animation knowledge, but you need to know how to do this. Normally what people do in PowerPoint is they select everything and they hit a simple animation, like fade. This would animate, as you can see by the letter 1, everything at once. By going on the right side to the animation pane and opening the animation pane, we get a visual interpretation of what is going on, at least on the newest Windows version. What we can do here, we can right click and we can select start on click. This way, everything would start with each next click you make. But what if you want now to, for example, appear number 17, then number 8, and then number 5, and then they go forward? This is very simple. You can, of course, influence those numbers and which animation plays at which time. For example, you want 1, 2, 3, and then you want 16. So what you can do, you can click on object number 16, and on the right side you see where this animation is, on the entire animation list. If number 16 wouldn't have any animation, then it's okay. Let's say that only numbers 1, 2 and 3 have animations. So you click on number 16, you click fade, and it will become next in line. So this would be one way of ordering which animation appears first, which animation appears second. This way, just by clicking on each object, selecting fade, clicking on the next object, selecting fade, you could determine which animations play after each other. Let me preview the entire animation now. Of course, um, all objects that, that have no animation will be visible right away. So we have one, two, three. As far as I remember, we had this now. Yeah, I was close. 16, 24, and then 19. So you do not have to go one after another. In a situation where everything already has an animation, you can still reorder the animations as you please. For example, everything has a fly-in animation. The way you approach this, again, we want 1, 2, 3, and then we want 16. As we click on 16, we see where it is, we just take this animation and we put it right behind number 3. This will now become animation number 4. It is represented by this number, and if you want to make this even simpler on yourself, but that requires a lot of work, you can open Home and open the Select Selection pane. As I click on different objects, it shows me which animation does it have applied. And to make this easier on myself, I see this is number 9. It's called something weird like the Decagon. It has like 12 corners or something. What I can do, I can double click and rename it to number 9. So now, even in the animation pane, it will be a much, much easier for me to see which is which. Because right now, as you can see, the naming is like very difficult to determine what is what. Number 16, you can double click and you can rename it to number 16 to always know where number 16 is. All right, we want those two to be adjusted. We have one, two, three, then number 16, then we want number 24, so we, do, we just click on number 20, 24 and we bring it up. Now 24 and maybe now, now 19. Okay, bring it just forward um, behind animation number 5. So you have those little numbers here. Number 5, number 6. And then it will continue 7, 8, 9, 10 because we didn't adjust those animations. In practice, this looks like that. 1, 2, 3. Now 16, 24 looks like a weird lottery 19 and then those animations weren't adjusted so they just will fly in one after another i hope this is enough of explanation how to change which animation plays first which second this animation for currently makes this object to fly in but what we can do we can go to our animation pane we can click on other objects like with my shift click one two and three and we can add an animation from the exit animation, which will be fade. So those three animations disappear. Now, this got a bit more complicated because look at that. 
normally those three animations would appear right at the end of this entire animation sequence. But what I want, I want them to disappear when number animation number four happens. So what I do, I just take all three of those animations, I put them right where number four is, and instead of having to click my mouse, I right click and I select start with previous. What that does, it will start with the previous animation, which is animation number four. Now, let me explain this in practice. What will happen now? We got one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And now is the key moment because animation number four has four animations. It has appearing of number 16, disappearing of number one, disappearing of number two, disappearing of number three. So watch what happens. With this one mouse click, I have made 16 appear, those three disappear. Now the animation will just continue. 24, 19 and uh, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All animations just follow along as we have them. So this is how we could make, for example, explainer videos and explainer animations and many different things could happen on our screen after another. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. If you'd like to learn PowerPoint and animation with me, I leave you with links to my courses. I have, for example, a course about making explainer videos in, in PowerPoint, which is heavily focused on animation. I'm sure you would gain a lot of knowledge there. It would also support me as a designer. Thank you very much for listening and see you in other tutorials.